Hi, thanks for tuning in today. Today we're going to be talking about mini fuses. These are glass or ceramic fuses that come in three standard sizes. We've got the 3.6 by 10 millimeter, the 5 by 20 millimeter, and the 6 by 30 millimeter. Each size may also come in an axial style, as you can see by these leads or pigtails. The part numbers and any certifications are stamped on the end caps. Let's break down the part number. Most fuses will have a part number that starts with either an F or a T. This isn't a hard rule as some manufacturers don't include this marking, but it is common. F stands for fast acting or fast blow, and T stands for time delay or slow blow. As you can see in this fuse here, we've got a T for time delay. The next thing will be the number to indicate the amperage value, 1A, 2.5A, or sometimes milliamps, like 500MA. Milliamp values can be a whole number or decimals, so 500MA could be 0.5A, depending on the manufacturer. In the same fuse here, as you can see, we've got a 3.15A, or 3.15 amp. Following the amperage value, it's pretty common for there to be a marking for the braking capacity. There are two letters to indicate the capacity, L and H. L stands for low braking, and all glass fuses will have this specification. As you can see in this fuse here, we've got a 12.5A, and you can see that L, and that L represents low braking, and as this is a glass fuse, that makes sense. Ceramic fuses can be low or high breaking. And if we take a look at this fuse here, we can see the 3.15H. And that H stands for high breaking fuses. High breaking fuses can replace low breaking, but not the other way around. Some manufacturers do not include the breaking capacity letter marking, and it's safer to assume that they are low breaking capacity in that case. Now, the last marking you'll see will be the voltage rating. Most fuses are rated at 250 volts, or 250V, but some may say 125V, or 125 volts. You can use 250 volt fuses to replace identical or lower values, but do not use a lower voltage rating to replace a higher one. We almost stock exclusively 250 volts, so you never have to worry. You can see here where it is 3.15H for high braking, and then you can see the 250V for 250 volts. Now, the last thing about voltage is that voltage doesn't indicate the physical dimensions of the fuse. For example, a 125 volt fuse may be in 5 by 20 millimeters or 6 by 30 millimeters. A lower voltage does not necessarily mean a smaller fuse. And these are the basics of glass and ceramic fuses. Thanks for tuning in.